Developing right now, the investigation into the IRS targeting of conservative groups reports surfacing from a new interview with an IRS employee revealing that questionable screening practices are still going on. Mike Emanuel live in Washington with more on that, Mike. Well, Greg, this is based on an interview the House Ways and Means Committee conducted with an IRS agent last week who said Tea Party groups, even with no evidence of political activity, would get sent to secondary screening. House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Dave Camp is furious, saying, quote, the fact that the IRS still continues to treat the Tea Party differently and subject them to additional targeting is outrageous and it must stop immediately. The IRS says the be on the lookout lists are gone and the agency has taken decisive action to eliminate the use of inappropriate political labels in the screening of these tax exempt applications. The IRS says its policy is now clear that screening is based on activity, not words like Tea Party in a name. But that unidentified agent has told investigators a Tea Party group would get political advocacy screening. And while some Democrats on Capitol Hill like to point out liberal groups have gotten some extra scrutiny, a Senate conservative says there is no comparison. The treatment wasn't equal in, 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 in terms of the sheer numbers. I think the facts will show that it was the, the groups on the right end of the spectrum that were singled out in, in a far disproportionate share. But uh, let's get the facts out there. Let's continue to investigate. Congress is, of course, on August recess, but all indications are there will be more hearings and top IRS officials will be asked to explain why this is still taking place. Greg? Like a man.